Yo, what's going on guys? Call Too Much back at it with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Just Cause 3's NVIDIA performance. More specifically, we're taking a look at Just Cause 3 running on the GTX 970 from EVGA. That's a 4GB video card, or a 3.5GB video card, depending on how you look at it. And I'm going to be testing out the game on the GTX 950 from MSI. That's a 2GB video card. I thought these were two varied video cards. The GTX 950 is around $130-$150, whereas the GTX 970 is around $280-$300. Also, some of you might be wondering, hey Mush, why isn't there any AMD performance in this video? Well, I just got done playing Just Cause 3 on some AMD video cards and the performance was really bad. There was a ton of bugs. So I'm just hoping that's either an isolated issue, something that only I'm experiencing, or this is a widespread problem and it's something that's going to get fixed before the game releases. So I'm not going to be talking about AMD performance until Tuesday. If it's still bad, then, then I'll give my thoughts on it. But yeah, I don't want to talk about AMD performance anymore. It was getting me super frustrated. So I'm just hoping it gets fixed by Tuesday or it's an isolated issue for me. Alright, first we're going to take a look at Just Cause 3 running at 1080p on the GTX 970. Everything is maxed out except for the anisotropic level. That's at 8x instead of 16x. That just kept the frame rate more consistent. And vertical sync is also off. I didn't really get much screen tearing with Just Cause 3. Even in the cutscenes where that is typically where screen tearing gets really bad, I wasn't really experiencing that. So I decided to just keep vertical sync off. And as far as performance goes at 1080p, it was really good. I was looking at around 60 to 70 frames per second, but just keep in mind Just Cause 3, there are times where there's a bunch of explosions going off. And at that point, when you do some of the bigger explosions, the game will dip to around 40, sometimes even 37 to 38 frames per second. It's a quick dip, but for some of you, that might be a bit annoying, so you will want to lower the settings a bit if you find that that annoying. But for me, I thought that was fine with a game like this with all those kinds of explosions going off. You know, dipping to that kind of frame rate really wasn't bothering me too much. And again, it was a quick dip. It's not like we went to 38 frames consistently. The majority of the times you will be playing the game at at least 55 frames per second, usually 60 to 70. Moving out to Just Cause 3 running at 1440p on the GTX 970. At 1440p, I did have to lower some settings. I decided to lower anti-aliasing to FXAA and I decided to turn SSAO off. If you guys want to get more performance, you can also lower the shadow quality a bit that really impacts your frame rate as well so if you do want to lower the shadow quality of the high get some more frames i would recommend doing that because even at high shadow quality high versus very high i really didn't notice that big of a difference at these settings the game was typically running at about 50 frames per second sometimes dipping to 48 and once again when you did do the bigger explosions the game did dip to around 34 to 35 frames per second i think that's just something you're gonna have to deal with with just cause 3 there are a ton of big explosions that you can do and I don't even want to think about how consoles are dealing with those, but 35 frames per second at 1440p with a single GTX 970. At these kind of settings, the game looks really freaking good at that resolution and those settings. So dipping to that kind of a frame rate isn't that bad, but again, it might annoy some people. And I also tested out the MSI GeForce GTX 950 at 1080p. I didn't test this game running on the 950 at 1440p. If you guys have a video card like the 950, I don't think you're going to be looking to game at 1440p anyway. And if you are, either you're going to have to turn the settings really low or you're gonna have to deal with a really bad frame rate at 1080p i didn't max out the settings i had anisotropic level at 4x i had anti-aliasing at fxaa i had shadow quality at high and i had ssao off even with those settings the game still looks really good and the frame rate is fairly consistent while you're just running around and not much is going on you're gonna get around 40 to 45 frames per second sometimes it'll go higher sometimes a bit lower once again, there are obviously frame rate dips when you do the bigger explosions, and I dip to as low as 28 frames a second. Now, 28 is a pretty bad number, but once again, it's only going to be that frame rate for just a couple seconds, and I've been hearing really bad things about the console version of this game. I've heard that the performance is terrible when you do these big explosions. So really with the GTX 950, considering this is the type of video card you put in a five or a $550 build, I would imagine on the consoles that they're dipping way below 28 frames. Since the game on consoles is aiming to run at 30 FPS, but obviously when you do the explosions, it's gonna dip. And I found the game to be completely playable with the 950. Obviously my expectations and somebody else's expectations will vary. If you want to get a better frame rate, like I said, you can lower the shadow quality or you could just lower the settings or even the resolution in general. But I think most of you guys want to play the game at 1080p. So that's going to conclude this video. Like I said, AMD performance is something that I'm going to cover a bit later on. I'm hoping that it gets fixed up, but I don't even want to look at it at this point. Not only was the performance bad on AMD video cards, but there was a lot of bugs, a lot of artifacting. But like I said, I don't want to get more into that because it just gave me a headache while playing the game. So we're going to stop it there. But overall on NVIDIA video cards, the game runs pretty 
pretty damn well. And if you have something like the GTX 950, you're not going to be running the game maxed out at 60 FPS, but you are going to be getting pretty good performance. And with a 970, you're going to be getting pretty great performance. All of my PC specs will be in the description box down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below if I missed anything you want me to answer. I will reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.